Hello, this is Seher from ECPZ, and the topic we are going to discuss today is called as structural forms of DNA. Now, as we know, the DNA coil upon itself and present in the nucleus of a eukaryotic cell. The total amount of DNA that is present inside the cell is 1.8 meters, while the diameter of the nucleus is around 2 micrometers in length. So it's nearly impossible for DNA to present in one structural form only. It is just like that if we are accommodating people inside a car and they are all sitting in one direction only, then we can accommodate maybe four or five people in the car. But to accommodate these many people in a mini car is impossible if they are sitting in one position only. But these people did make the world record by taking different forms or positions and fit themselves inside the core. Just like that, DNA do exist in different forms. That can be form A, B, C, D, and Z. Out of all these forms, form A, B, and Z are more common. And we are going to discuss these three forms in detail in this video. Now these three forms, the most common form that is present inside the cell is form B. So we are going to discuss form B first, then form A, and then form Z. So let's start. Now B form. B form is a right-handed helix. It is present in a very humid environment around 92% and low concentration of ions. And this is the ideal environment of the cell. That's why the most common form of DNA present inside the cell is B form. Now each turn contains 10 base pairs in B form. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. If we look at the top view, you can see that this blue portion is basically the sugar and phosphate backbone, while the yellow or greenish portion is basically the nitrogenous bases, and they are perpendicular to the axis. The hydrogen bonds formed between the nitrogenous bases have a little angle here, and that is called as base tilt. So base tilt in B form is 6 degree only. The diameter of B form is approximately 20 Armstrong, and the length of each turn is approximately 34 Armstrong. The distance between the two base pairs, like this is the first base pair and this is the second base pair, and the distance between the two base pairs are called as helical rise. And in B form, the helical rise is approximately 3.4 Armstrong. Now we also have two grooves here. One is called as major groove, the other is called as minor groove. In B form, the major groove is wide and deep. As you can see, this greater sign is quite wide like here, and it is deep inside the helical axis. Minor groove, on the other hand, is narrow and deep. So it is not as much wide as the major groove, but it is deep in the helical axis now. Let's discuss form A. Form A is also a right-handed helix. It is just like that if we put a weight on form B and it is expanding on the side. So the diameter of form A will be wider than form B and the length of form A will be shorter than form B. Now form A usually present in a dehydrating environment. So the humidity will be approximately 75% and it is also present in high concentration of ions. It means that if a cell is facing a dehydrating environment, in order to survive, the B form can take A form in that condition. Okay, now the number of base pairs present in each turn in A form is approximately 11 base pairs instead of 10, and the diameter of A form is 26 Armstrong. So the diameter of A form is wider than B form. The length of each turn is approximately 28.6 Armstrong. The base tilt is approximately 20 degree. And the helical rise, the distance between two nucleotides, is basically 2.9 Armstrong. Now the major groove in form A is narrow and deep, 
as you can see that the greater sign is not that much wide now but it is deep inside the helical axis the minor groove on the other hand is wide and shallow so you can see that it is present just on the side so it's not deep but the opening the greater sign is quite wide in a form last but not least the z form z form is a left-handed helix just like if we have the b form and we are rolling it then the length of this form will become longer and the diameter will become shorter so that's the difference between b form and z form z form is called z form because they have a zigzag sugar phosphate backbone running in anti-parallel direction why they have zigzag form because of the sequence present in it and they have alternating purines and pyrimidines on it just like the example here is GC GC and GC now the B form of DNA can take this Z form of DNA if the number of proteins can bind to it and in one helical conformation and force the DNA to adopt a different conformation each turn contains approximately 12 base pairs so it is longer than the B form and A form and the distance of each turn is approximately 44 Armstrong. The diameter of the C form is 18 Armstrong so the diameter of Z form is smaller than B form and A form. The helical rise in B form is 7.4 Armstrong. The base tilt is 7 degree the major groove is flat as you can see it is not even a greater sign now so it is flat and the minor groove is narrow and deep so it is narrow it's not that wide but it is deep inside the helix thank you very much for watching this video if you like it please hit the button like and subscribe my channel thank you bye bye